Hi there, Xu Yun here for Pi Cockpit. Today, I want to share with you how you can cut your uh, load times for Chromium in half. Now, if you've noticed at the start of the video, I did a full refresh by pressing Control and F5, and uh, it's still uh, re-rendering. But I can tell you that uh, I did it three times before I recorded this video, and I would say it takes about 45 seconds to reload this page using a Pi 02W. That's too long. We need to do something about it. The problem is that the Raspberry Pi Zero 2 only has 512 megabytes of RAM. Couple this with a browser that is memory hungry and that's why loading takes so long. So in order to counteract this, what we can do is to increase the swap file size. Now open up a terminal and type in this command to temporarily disable swap. Once that's done, the next thing to do is to edit the configuration file. Type in this command. Now you're in the nano editor right now and you should look for the line that says conf underscore swap size equals 100. This is currently limiting your swap size to 100 megabytes. So we're going to go ahead and put in a bigger number 2048. Now save it by pressing control O, enter, and then exit by pressing control X. All right, so what's left to be done is to set the swap file up uh, by doing this command. Now this is going to take a while, so I'm just going to cut the video until the uh, time where it's done. Alright, it's done, and uh, if you remember what we did initially, we did have to disable the swap file. Now we just have to re-enable it so that we can see the difference. Just a side note, there's no need to reboot. Uh, you can go back to Chromium and see the difference. All right, so let's see how much faster the Pi Cockpit website loads as a result of this uh, modification to the swap file. I've just pressed Control F5 and uh, let's uh, see how much faster it is. I'm just going to speed up this video two times so that you don't have to uh, wait the whole time. In my data, what I've seen is that the load times were almost a third of what it was initially. And remember that initially it was about 45 seconds uh, in my tests, in my three tests, I got it down to an average of 16 seconds. So that is a big savings on the load time. And uh, I would say that it was worth doing it. The downside, of course, is that using your SD card as a swap space would mean that uh, it gets a lot more uh, activity, uh, read and write cycles, and that would definitely lower your lifespan of the SD card. But uh, the benefit is that you can actually serve some websites on your Raspberry Pi Zero 2. So I would recommend it.